What's up everybody? We're back with another mail day and we have a ton of packages. We have a lot of packages. If I look like a ghost, it's because my lighting's really good because I moved my um, lamp. So let's get started because these mail days are getting to the point where they get like one view. Which I'm not buying a bunch of crazy stuff anyway, so like I understand it because I can't spend money to buy packs and stuff all the time. So I, I completely understand. I still like making these videos though, that's for sure. First up, NBA debut, Tyler Hero. This card's beautiful. We have a decent amount of him today. We're gonna try to get through these pretty quick. Some of these videos get a little bit long, especially when I have this many cards that I'm purchasing. So I got these five mosaic rookies for five, eh, I think it was like four bucks a piece because I bought them in a lot of five cards. So I've been getting into buying a lot of Tyler Hero lately. Pulled some of him, as you guys saw, or will see. I'm not sure what order these are going in because my, my unboxings are a lot more recent than my mail days because I have so many mail days pre-recorded. So this is probably like a couple weeks before the um, couple, yeah, it's probably recorded a couple weeks before we actually have been uploading these videos for the unboxings. Oh man. Thank you for your purchase, Mike. You know what, Mike? I like thank you notes. I need to start doing that because I love when people send me thank you notes. But I never do it myself, so. Here's a little Tatis. And that was from Mercari. Yeah, this is from Mercari. So I can give this guy good feedback. Centering's a little bit off, sadly. But if Tatis turns into what I think he's going to be, we'll be sitting just fine. I think Tatis is going to be huge, guys. He's already shown what he can do. And 330 with 22 bombs and only 300 at bats is absolutely insane. I can't believe his cards aren't more expensive. Like, completely mind boggling to me. So, here we just got an NBA debut of Hero. I'm spending like four or five bucks a card for these. Maybe if I keep buying them fast enough, then I can drive up the demand because the supply is down because I own all of them. And part of the reason I think Gary V's methods work so much of putting things online is everyone sees, oh yeah, like the values are increasing, but he's buying them all. So that's maybe that's the goal later on. Get so rich that you can drive up the prices of your cards because there's none left because you've purchased all of them. Knife time. Hopefully not cut myself for damage mail time. Haven't done that yet though, so we're doing good so far. We, we just got really close. Good packaging here. Blue painter's tape, cardboard on both sides. That's what you like to see. All right, hopefully this just slides out. Yes, it does, and here we have, all right, this is 100% grading worthy. This might be a 10. Oh my gosh. I paid like 20 bucks for that card, but it was worth it. The centering is basically perfect. The corners are extremely sharp. That has to get a 10. That's going That's going to get graded. As long as there's no surface issues, which there could be, I check those things later because if I can see something that is harder to find, I'm not going to complain because obviously every card you buy isn't going to have a pristine um, surface. Ooh. What a nice guy. All right, so we got a Jonathan Taylor red prism. I'm kind of, I'm like kind of half-ass doing a um, rainbow for Jonathan Taylor because I'm getting all the base colors that are not numbered, but I also have three that are numbered, the hyper, green and purple, and green and yellow. So at this point, I'm just getting, I think I bought red, blue, and green that I need to do. So we got that there, but we also got a nice little, California, Aaron Rodgers, so I like that, and then a Nick Bosa. 
I really like those. I should have. I honestly should have picked up some Prism Draft because when I went to Walmart and got lucky with finding those mosaics, they also had Prism Draft. But I was like, ah, like I'm not big into that stuff. But I probably should have. They're all. They also don't hold as much value as like I don't know. Like even the autos, they're not worth that much. Which collecting wise, that's perfect because. They're easier to obtain, but I also like, I like how the base cards look, but even if I pull an auto, like I wouldn't be happy because the autos are all on card. I think they're all, um, I don't think any are on card and I think they're all with stickers. The stickers just don't look as good. Okay, boys. I didn't know I bought this many Tatis cards. I already have like two or three put away. Second one of the video. Honestly, this card has some really good centering too, and this is just a normal base. It's not chrome. So the two bases we bought so far, Honestly, have, I think they have a better chance of getting a 10 than the graded cards do. Which is fairly surprising. I think this is our other... One of our other... Yeah, this is... So we have another Jonathan Taylor. And this is our green. So we're getting really close to finishing that rainbow. And we have the blue coming in it honestly might be in this I'm guessing this is the green maybe not okay these are the heroes so NSC on Twitter was selling cards for pretty cheap so I spent like four bucks to get two hero cards and both of the hero cards are um they're just Don Russ, but I mean it shipped plain wood envelopes still really cheap. Like four bucks for two cards is a really good deal, especially for Hero, who I think is gonna be very good. I think his values are gonna explode, especially with him being injured the past year. In his rookie season, his his card values are still pretty decent. These cards have pretty decent centering. But obviously, I'm just going to be using these for a quick flip when he ends up being good. I'm not going to sit on them at all. I don't see the point in doing that at all. So Now, these are the cards from our break. It was $2.50 per team. And this was with Southern Breaks again. And I got the Brewers and the Dodgers. Got some pretty nice cards, that is for sure. Also, really fun breaks. He had that, he had graded card pulls, and then he also did a 2020 jumbo. I got a lot of cards from that. Alright, so we got a sticker Cody Bellinger. I think those stickers look really cool. I'm gonna go through quick. So we had a lot of so we had Bellinger. Dustin May rookie. We also had, we got two um, Lux rookies. We got Kesson Hira, Braun, Moose, Yelich, Arcia, Hater, another Woodruff. So we didn't get anything crazy, but I'd say for five bucks, we made our money back probably, or somewhat close with the three rookies, two Lux and one May. Which is just fine. Or I could honestly sell these in lots on Mercari, which would be another idea. Um, if I did get a, a better, like, normal rookie, if I wasn't doing opening day, I would probably um, get that graded or sit on them. But obviously I didn't do that. Apparently that's been open the whole video, so that looks great. Alright, so last package. Hopefully we didn't take too terribly long trying to get through these. Obviously a lot of volume. Not a whole lot from... A financials financial perspective financial standpoint oops now I'm guessing this is Jonathan Taylor nope so we have another hero very nice rookie so we got a ton of cards today Three Tatis, two 
six, seven hero. We got stuff from our break, which is nine hero, including the Don Russ, but I wasn't including those. And yeah, that that is it. So obviously a little bit bigger of a mail day. Absolutely huge, way more than I think I've ever done. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't bought into Tatis yet, remember this, keep it in your brain. He's going to go up. He has to. He's done too well, too underrated. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.